Hey, what's up guys, Your man here with Monster Gadgets. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you might be. And if you are a new viewer, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, join me on my Tesla journey. Speaking of which, if you are looking to purchase one, I'll go ahead and leave my referral code below. Please use that and we both will get 1,000 miles of free supercharging. So, now, Elon comes out and tells us, basically confirms, there's no refresh coming for the Model S and Model X. Let's talk a bit further about that. All right, so I am finally revealed, revealed? No, relieved, no, yes. So I am finally relieved that there is no update and it's been confirmed by Elon. Thank you, Brandon Havert, Havert, Havert? Oh, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, Brandon. Uh, he's an associate with uh, MKBHD, so he asked a question on Twitter to Elon and Elon responded by saying basically, no, there's no refresh coming. I'll show you guys the tweet now. Um, there is no refreshed Model S or Model X coming, only a series of minor ongoing changes. The most significant change in the past few years was to use the high efficiency Model 3 rear wheel drive unit as an SX front unit that went into production three months ago. And he goes on to ask if there's an interior refresh coming and he responds to that by saying no. All right, so now with the news officially coming out, I think it helps to move everyone forward in the ordering process. I know you guys know that I'm one of those people that was kind of in between if I should order or and keep my Model X or not and wait for the refresh. I'm sure there's a ton of people out there that are, uh, are kind of in the same boat as I was, but now I know that there's no update coming up this year. I can feel a lot happier about keeping my Model X, I guess, versus waiting for the next one to come out. Um, and also now let's talk a little bit about the interior itself. I absolutely love the current interior. Uh, there were rumors of the Model 3 interior coming into the Model X. I think that would have been a really bad idea. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the Model 3 interior. I just don't think it belongs in the Model X. The Model X to me, it's more of a premium sedan compared to the Model 3 and it should have its own interior own features if you will. So I'm glad that that's probably not going to happen as of right now, at least this year. Uh, even if they go in, you know, in the next year or so and integrate the Model 3 interior into Model X, I certainly hope there will be some differences that will help the Model X stand out from an interior standpoint versus just a similar or exact Model 3 interior. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about what he means by minor changes. It's a very subjective thing to say. Uh, to me, what might be minor might not be minor to somebody else. So I'm curious to see what changes that actually come forward, uh, this year at least versus a full refresh that might happen a year or two years from now, I'm not sure. But just as far as you know, minor interior changes go, I'm curious to see what those might be. I don't think it's enough to hold anyone back from currently purchasing one. I know it's not gonna hold me back. Uh, now that I know there's no major changes coming, I'm not worried about the smaller changes. It, it might be small tweaks here and there, but it's irrelevant. I mean, when you look at any car or any technology for that matter, it's always going to be improving. So whether it's a minor change or a major change, it's gonna happen so it I think I can sleep easier at night knowing that there's no major refresh coming but the minor changes will always be there and I'm okay with that and I think most people would be as well so I'm curious to know what you guys think leave in the comment section below what you guys think the minor changes might be coming up and if that's gonna really hold you back from taking delivery or purchasing a Model X or Model X at least this year or not, I'm curious to know what you guys think, so leave in the comment section below or, or message me on Instagram or DM me on Instagram, let me know what you guys think. But I'm really happy to know that there's no major refresh coming and I can finally take delivery of my Model X once, once, once they actually fix the whole tax incentive that I'm in right now with not being able to take delivery end of June because of their issue. So Tesla of Westmont, if you're watching, I hope you'll do the right thing. I'm counting on it, I'm waiting for it. Uh, I'm waiting for an email for you guys to come out and say, yeah, yes, you're gonna go ahead and take care of me so I can come in and take delivery of my Model X. So that's it guys, I just wanna make sure I give you guys a quick update. I know I'm a little bit late. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm still not at home, but I wanted to get this update out to you guys so you know there is no Model X and X refresh happening. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.